fine antiques, exquisite art, celebrated wines. Anything here can be yours for just a fraction of what it's actually worth. Of course, there is a catch. This sale is actually a race. The bell rings, the shoppers run, and whoever lays their hands on it first gets to buy it. This is the greatest tag sale on earth. Every June they come, discerning buyers in search of the bargain of a lifetime. Is there a salesperson? A salesperson. Okay. Some are pros shopping for clients. Others are here for themselves. All will pay a $500 entry fee to get past the gate and into these rooms to start buying. The deals are just that good. I'm interior designer Libby Langdon, and we've got all access to the Decorators, Designers, Dealers Gala. Here's the schoolhouse. All the best furniture and the best objet and the best paintings are all placed in this room. With last second prep still underway, James Allen Smith, design co-chair, gave me a sneak peek of the sales center stage. One of the things that we got in was this wonderful six panel Chinese screen. It's a late 1800s, 1900s. It is a very unique, difficult thing to sell, which is why we have a very good price on it. I was going to say, it's incredibly it's, good. No, it's an outrageously good price. So this piece is quite a wonderful piece. It literally is completely made out of shells. Uh, everything in here. It, it doesn't seem that expensive for what it is. And it's an unusual piece, so it's going to take a special person to buy it. And uh, it's magnificent. I've noticed the prices are unbelievable. How do you come up with the pricing? That's where I kind of step aside and Gary and Christy, who are interior designers, they have a sense of what things are worth, but you know, people are coming here for a bargain. Right. So you want to make sure it sells because we want to raise as much money as we possibly can. We said I think 95? 95, yeah. And we have a pair. The items for sale, spread across seven buildings, are donations from around the country. The proceeds go to the Southampton Fresh Air Home, a summer camp for physically challenged children. Gary Crane is a designer with clients across the country. There's just so many items in here that are spectacular, but would you say you have a favorite or is there something that you think is really, really valuable and special? Well, we had these wonderful vases. They were appraised at $3,000, and we wow. had it priced at $1,200. Now, that's a very good buy. Another one is this wonderful Indian bed that's been converted into a desk. Oh, wow. Oh, and right. it's priced right. I right. think it's $450. Yeah. It's very important that this room get the best quality. A lot of the pieces you do have here have sort of an antique feel and have a little patina. Do you think that's important to incorporate into an interior? I do, and I think just a little bit of the old mixed with the new is fabulous. It just gives that, as you said, patina, that little kick, that little quality. This wonderful apothecary piece is excellent. This is one of the special pieces that came in. Yeah, cool. That is amazing. Look at it, pretty fantastic. How many people will come through here tonight? Mm. I'd say about 5,000. <gasps> 5,000 people? You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 this is the big dude. Outside, the line of shoppers waiting for the bell is growing. Inside, treasures from private sellers are coming out of the box. What are some of the really special ones you have? I know there's one sitting out here. Well, we can start from this end. I mean, there's a couple of great champagnes here from 1990 that is still very, very young, okay? And then if you're talking about benchmark wines like this Chateau Margaux from 1982. Wow. Well, 1982 was probably the best vintage of modern times. Okay. To some people, it's actually the best 1982. 
Valued at $1,240, what do you think that bottle of wine is gonna go for? Uh, $800. This is like a filene's basement. The minute this little bell rings, the charge in that line is going to be like the bulls that are racing down that tunnel in Spain. It's an hour before kickoff at the Decorators Designers Dealers Gala in Southampton, and already the crowd is gathering. I'm gonna go up and talk to the woman who was first in line. Is this your first time here? No, I come every year. I've you come, come every, every year. year. What's the most amazing thing you've ever gotten here? The most amazing thing is a Sweet 16 Donzi boat that my husband- You bought a boat here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Neither were we. I can only come with my posse. Okay. I like it. Now listen to this. We I like Lee, it. Linda, Carol Ann, Charlene. Carol Ann bought a Mercedes Benz here. <laughs> you did? A Mercedes Benz. You are yeah. kidding me. Also, there's a whole thing going on on the line. It gets a little this stressful. This is right. On the is line. It, I, got, I got yelled at because I was talking too loud just a minute ago. Yeah. Tickets and I was like, babe, we got to support hey. the boys. <laughs> As the line builds toward the 5 p.m. bell ringing, we checked in with one of the pros. I wait all year for this show. <laughs> we get the best bargains in the universe. Having designed for clients from Kimora Lee Simmons to a former U.S. president, Barbara Ostrom is hardly intimidated by the crowd. And I have to charge in there ahead of anybody else, fight my way through. This is like a filene's basement. The minute this little bell rings, the charge in that line is like the bulls that are racing down that tunnel in Spain. This is like dog eat dog, but it's such fun and it's for such a great cause. The weekend brings out the who's who of the Hamptons. Kim White has been a driving force behind the event practically since it started. Kim, I see you waving and saying hello to people. You know a lot of people here. I know a lot of people. I've been coming here for at least 15 years. Many years, she walks away top spender. I bought so many things that I haven't even used. I have so much stuff in storage. I don't know where to put it anymore. <laughs> I have a sneaky feeling you're gonna be finding some things to buy in there. I'm sure I will. <laughs> I always do. Outside, you can feel the anticipation for the bell ringing. Inside, last minute pricing has the designer scrambling. We've talked about 350. Do you think that's high enough or do you think you want to make it a little bit more? How about 425? Oh, you like that number, but you know what you like better? 475. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Do. All right, Anne, I've heard there's something incredibly valuable right behind us. These are our prized possession. Two French Aubusson screens from the mid-19th century, valued at $38,000. The price here is $5,000 per screen. I'm gonna keep my eye on these. I'm dying to see who's gonna buy them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of our very famous pieces. This is the piano that Mel Brooks composed the producers and Young Frankenstein. He wrote those musicals on this, this piano. It. Totally priceless. And it's a bargain at $800. Oh my word. Here we go. Here we go. Work, work mode. Everybody ready? Ready? Go. The energy is electric. People are so excited. I'm shaking. I'm so nervous for this all to happen. They're getting ready to come in and they're going to ring that bell any minute. Go. Now we have to 
find a salesperson. I want to buy this. How do we get a salesperson for this? Um, is there a salesperson? Is there a person with a ticket? Ticket? Oh, honey, I'm gonna get these pillows. All four right of them. Right Let's get married. They're sold already. Oh my gosh! All right, isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's like one. I'm from Texas too. Okay, it fits. She's just carrying the table, not even like looking for a salesperson, just walking away with the table. Hi. Hi. I love these vases. Are you getting them? Maybe. Maybe. What, you want them? No, I was just curious if you were going to buy them. What makes you love these so much? You know, if I asked my wife if I should buy them and I, we were in a store, she would say, you're out of your mind. <laughs> we don't need them. We have enough Chinese pottery. But you know what? It's nice for $1,200. Like, like a donation. And you're making a great donation. Yes, I'm going to buy them. Yes, he's going to buy them. Yes, he's going to buy them. Hi, Libby. Barbara, how's it going? Well, everything I would buy is sold. Oh, it's so upsetting. Right. How much are the four, the set of the four leave? Without the, are they with the ottomans? Is it two? So everyone's a chair and an so ottoman? I don't need the ottomans, but you know what? Let me get it anyway. Here. Okay? Oh, God. Oh, okay, so here. Okay. And here's another okay. one. Okay, okay, so I'll come back for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to come back. You. Okay. Okay. The auction's been going on for a while. Tell me what you think is happening. It's starting off slow and low. However, as time goes on, it should get much, much more expensive. What time do you think people wait until they swoop in and put in their the last, last five or 10 minutes? Five or 10 minutes? Five or 10 minutes. There are lots of people that come back, and if you, if you look down the list, you'll see they keep bidding it up as inexpensively as they can, but somebody keeps out bidding them, and that's what happens. Okay. And they keep coming back. Um, is there a salesperson? Okay, here. I want to buy this. Barbara Ostrom, O S T R O M. And you have a nice lamp over there. I'll take that too. This is nice right here. Why don't we buy this one too? <laughs> this sale is so fun. Don't you love it? Could I buy that table, please? $350. Okay, deal. We're making out like bandits tonight. Yes. And we've just begun. All right, we're gonna go suss out some of the items we saw before and see if they sold or not. I'm dying to know, has anybody bought the Mel Brooks piano yet? Two hours into the Decorators, Designers, Dealers Gala, the shopping is reaching a frenzied pace. All right, we're gonna go suss out some of the items we saw before and see if they sold or not. I wanna check on those screens. Not sold yet, but it's unbelievable. You look at all this other stuff. There are these little blue sold stickers on everything. It's like it all sold out in 10 minutes. I'm dying to know. Has anybody bought the Mel Brooks piano yet? Not yet. There's been a lot of interest, but not yet. Not yet. All right, I'm going to check back. I have to get the ticket. Um, I, gotta I gotta get my. I didn't get all my tickets. They're all over. I gotta get those. I bought. I bought things. I don't know. I bought up like ten chairs that I don't need. But tickets. if like someone can't use it, I could give them away. Now I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm keep. I'm just <laughs> keep going. Now I wanted this guy, and I didn't get him because I I missed him because. But I did get another car. I kind of needed that. But that's right, okay. right. As you're going through, it's just stuff that you look at. You, you like and you, you say, I just want to get it. You don't need it. You can give it away. Right. I, mean, I did buy these 10 chairs. I just bought like so much outdoor stuff. See, I don't know. <laughs> this is one crazy fun night in Southampton. <laughs> See what the price of these lamps are. 120. Hmm, that is not bad. Now this is an interesting lamp. Two hundred dollars. This would be great for my son. I have to admit I have a lamp fetish. I've got a basement practically filled with lamps, but I found some more in this show, so I bought them. 
Monica Foreman is on the Fresh Air Home Board of Directors, and her son also attends the camp. So this is a really special event for you in a lot of ways. It is, first of all. My son is so happy at camp here. So you got to see them gather at the flagpole, be in the dining room, singing, doing all the things that kids do in camp. And they feel so natural here because nobody's looking at them and they make friends for life. Here. Wow. And this is a fun event, so uh, you also get to go home with lots of goodies. So yeah. It's very fun. I mean, it's have for you great looked at the stuff? Is yes. It, have you been I shopping there? I have. Oh, so, so Libby, while it's nice, Nice to see you, we gotta go. All right, happy shopping, ladies. Oh, so what are some of the things going for now? Well, it's exactly as I predicted. People are now bidding it up towards the end, and everybody comes at the latest minute. And what's going is really the top shelf Bordeaux and the California collectibles. How is your bidding going? <laughs> I'm going to be outbid, unfortunately and fortunately. Oh, all right, good. That's okay. But I have lots more for next year. Okay, good. We're looking at the Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, 1982. I'm doing this. Raise it by $1,000. This you can girl buy is a, a hustler. Can... All right, I am going to go to 3000 Okay. What? It's worth every she, penny. She, she pushed me, bumped me up there. It, they totally. It, all right. All right. Thirty-two hundred. How much time to be it? I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. Part of the fun of the sale is all the different styles of furniture that they have. We've seen classic Hampton style, we've seen very traditional style, and there's even modern style. So there's something here for everyone. Yesterday, we got the delivery of the things that I got. And for the cost of a lounge chair, I got all of this. How's it going? Good, good, good. So you feel like you're getting great reactions on everything in there? Things are just pouring out of here. Was there anything that hasn't sold yet that you're surprised about? No, I think most of the great stuff is gone. It's gone. gone. Don't you? It is. Did I, you look around? It I was did. unbelievable. In in the course of ten minutes, it was like an ocean of blue sold tags. Was it true when I told you when these people started coming into the room? It was crazy. I was also a little nervous before they came in. I was sort of like, Have you ever seen huh. so many people come at once? <laughs> How's it going? What are you finding? It's good. I've been buying lots of stuff. Everything sold so fast. I did buy this. Oh, the server. I bought the server. Fabulous. And I bought two lamps, and I bought a lap desk, and I'm still going. There are only a few minutes before the sale ends, and with deals this good, even donors become buyers. What time do you think people wait until they swoop in and put in their the last, last five or ten minutes? How many minutes do we have left before the auction goes? I think we only have about five minutes left. Any surprises or any things that you think somebody is really getting a crazy good low price on? Well, right here, for example, three bottles of... Um, Chateau Trottenoy, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to bid on this myself okay. <laughs> because this is really worth it. For $250, I mean, this is a great deal. There's still a, there still are some great deals here. Okay, and, okay. You know, what can I say? All right, we have finished the wine auction. You got in a last minute bid. And the good part is I'm going home with wine that I didn't bring. <laughs> That's perfect. We're never done. Are we ever done, girls? You're not done. I'll still go and buy more, maybe okay. come back tomorrow. But I'm gonna, this is the organization of what you bought. Do you have your tickets and where they are? And I how do you sort of? Oh you my gosh, the there's more. Wait, this you is for guys. the outdoor. Is this the outdoor chairs? I bought ten chairs that I don't need. <laughs> and I, I swear to you, and I bought them because maybe I can help my friend if she wants them for her house. I'm also decorating okay. my second job. But if not. They were not that expensive, but give them away. Right, 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 exactly. Somebody has to want a chair. This is why I shop here, because handsome boys like this help me carry things. <laughs> Look at this. I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted.
As the last toast is made and the crowd packs up their purchases, the evening is declared a success with over $400,000 raised. There are a few things that haven't sold and actually these two screens haven't sold yet. Their value is $38,000. They were on sale today for $10,000 but tomorrow they get chopped in half and they're gonna sell for $5,000. So we'll see if they're moving tomorrow. This sale is over and I'm absolutely shocked that this piano that Mel Brooks wrote the producers on did not sell. I can't believe it. It just goes to prove you never know what's gonna sell. Yesterday, we got the delivery of the things that I got. They brought all of our outdoor furniture, which for $1,500, I got this cart, six lounges, one small table, a table that needs an umbrella, which I'm going to get, and four matching chairs. Go to the show and voila, here it all is. And for the cost of a lounge chair, I got all of this. Okay, this is my biggest bargain. In my bedroom, I have this fabulous Edward Fields rug that I got at the show up for $200. What people don't do when they're there shopping at this sale, they never look down. And I always look down because I know they never sell. I can't wait for next year. I don't know what they're going to have. I need a chandelier in this room. And if I don't buy one, you never know. One might be there.